Welcome to GoVM Lab, India's first job-ready VMware learning platform where professionals meet experts to revolutionize their VMware careers. Hello everyone. Welcome to GoVM Lab, VMware vSphere Advanced Networking Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to learn about a new session type of code mirroring capabilities of vSphere Distributed Switch. In previous two lectures of port mirroring discussion, we had discussed about distributed port mirroring and remote mirroring source session type. In this lecture, we are going to learn about encapsulated remote mirroring source capabilities of vSphere distributed switch. Now, in this session type, the packet gets mirrored from a number of distributed ports to a remote agent IP address. And the virtual machine traffic is mirrored to a remote physical destination through an IP Tunnel. And that's where encapsulated remote mirroring source is one of the very useful port mirroring session type which really help us to monitor and diagnose virtual machine traffic by leveraging the capabilities of physical device. So now let's go and get started with our port mirroring configuration and let's see that how do we go and configure encapsulated remote mirroring source type source session type on our vSphere distributed switch. So with that let's get started. As you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server named as savcsa01.govmlab.local. Let's go and browse our vCenter server. Now within that vCenter server, we do see a data center created named as SA data center. Let's go and browse our data center. Within that data center, we have a cluster created named as SA cluster. Let's go and browse that cluster. And within that cluster, we do see that there are three ESXi hosts added to that cluster and there are a bunch of VMs which are running on that cluster. Now, before we go and get started with our port mirroring configuration, let's have a quick review of our vSphere networking configuration. So click on networking icon, click here to browse our data center. And if you do see that we have a two distributed switch created on our environment, VDS site A and VDS site B. Now let's click on VDS site A and we do see that there are two port groups which are created on our VDS site A. The first port group is DVPG VM network created for virtual machine traffic and the second port group what do we have it is DV uplink port group. Now click on that VDS site A, click on host and if you do see that there are two hosts which are being managed by this distributed switch SA ESXi01 and SA ESXi02. Now click on VMs and if you do see that currently there are no active VMs which are running on that distributed switch. Now let's go to our VDS site B. Click here to browse that VDS site B. On that VDS we do see that there are two port groups created on VDS site B as well. The first port group if you do see that created with the name as DVPG port mirroring. So that's a port group name. The second port group, what do you see that is well-defined DV uplink port group. Now, if you click on that particular switch, you click on VMs, you do see that there are three VMs which are connected to this distributed switch. So obviously for this port mirroring session discussion, we are going to refer our VDS site B for demonstration purpose because we have all the active VMs which are running on this distributed switch. Now click on host. And if you do see that we just have a one ESXi host SA ESXi 03.govmlab.local that is the only host which is being managed by this distributed switch. Now if you click on the networks on the networks you do see that that's our DVPG port mirroring port group and if you click on uplink port groups you will find our DV uplink port group. Now click on ports of our distributed switch and if you do see that as of now, there is only one active uplink is connected to this distributed switch as you rightly see it here. If you click on that particular port, you do see that this is the port ID port number eight and that is the uplink information and that is a VM NIC one and the state is up, which means that the link is up. Now, if you look at the VM perspective, you do see that source VM 02 is connected to DV port number five, as you rightly see it here, and source VM01 is connected to DV up, DV port seven. Now, before we go and start configuring port mirroring session on our vSphere distributed switch, let's go and generate ping traffic from our source VM, and let's try to capture 
this traffic on some remote agent IP address, which is going to be our VM kernel adapter of our uh, some other ESXi host. And we'll see that what happens when we try to capture the packet on that remote agent IP address before configuring port mirroring, right? So that will give us a better understanding of port mirroring capabilities of our vSphere distributed switch. So thank you for watching this video. If you want to continue watch this lecture, then join our exclusive YouTube membership program only at the price of 299 rupees INR per month and unlock your VMware potential with GoVM Lab. With this membership program, you can unlock all of our members only content published on our YouTube channel. You can watch out the videos presented on your screen to know the benefits of GoVM Lab subscription as well as the membership program. Thank you.